Does this ever happen to you where you're coloring your hair and you just make a mess and you stain your skin? Everybody does it. Everybody stains their skin one time or another with, with um, hair dye. I'm going to show you guys how to get that off your skin. And please, like, watch the entire video because some people will just be like, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. But in the entire video, I will literally show you this will work like this. If you don't do this, then this may work like this. And if you don't do this, this is the very la at the very last of the video. I give you like the the worst case scenario. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's go ahead and just roll on over that video. If you stained your skin and you want to know how to get it off, um, right now. So I'm going to show you guys a way to get all of this. Let's see if it stained my skin. Yeah, you can see the darkness right there already. I'm going to show you guys a way to get all of this stain off of your skin if that's what you did. So yes, Dawn dishwashing soap. This you cannot dilute. You have to use it in concentrated form. Leave your gloves on and then go in and take it off your skin, right? You see how it's staining right there? Now don't touch the hair because if you touch the hair, it will stop processing. So remember, do not dilute this, work it in and sculpt out your forehead. When I say sculpt out your forehead, like you don't wanna walk around with a line like that of color on your skin that stained, you wanna sculpt it out. And I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick. So you can see I'm just working this all in. Now, one reason you don't take off your gloves is because you don't want your hands to stain and you also want to shower with your gloves on. Okay, so, oops. Q-tip, right? Concentrated, not diluted. And sculpt out your hairline. I'm going to take the dry part that has no product on it and I'm going to just kind of break up this color because I don't want the soap to touch those little hairs because they have some gray in them and I want them to color evenly but I also don't want to walk around with like a line on my forehead. Okay you got the soap on your skin just make sure that you work it in good. And if you made a mistake on your eyebrows, as you can see that I colored my eyebrows, you can take it and sculpt out your brows. You can take, you can take it and sculpt out your eyebrows. Okay, I think my time is done processing. I'm gonna go ahead and shower with my gloves on. So I'm out of the shower. My eyebrows look great. I haven't pulled my hair down to see it yet. So let's go ahead and do that together. Look at that hairline. No color. So you have to admire how good the hairline turned out. Look at that. None on the neck. Look at that. I don't should. Oh no, that's just a shadow right there. None on the neck. None on this side. Now, if you're watching this video and you've already dyed your hair and you've already stained your skin, I'm going to give you steps how to take it off or get the best chances for it to remove off the skin. So let's get to that right now. Okay, so let's talk about how to get the dye off your skin if you have already showered and you stained your skin. Um, while I'm talking, I'm going to go ahead and try this new palette. This is by Lunar Beauty. Look at this moon. Isn't it just amazing? This is called Nude Prim. I've never I've never tried Lunar Beauty. It's by, I believe, uh, Man, Manny MUA. But just look at this real quick. Like, it has a full mirror, you can see. And these colors, like, are just beautiful nudes. I already did this eye. I'm going to do this eye a little bit uh, deeper. Maybe a little different colors as well. But let's get on. Let's talk about the hair color. 
Actually, I think I'm just going to do a completely different eye so you can see the versatility of this palette. Anyways, so let's get to why first is your skin stained because your skin's dehydrated. When your any skin is dehydrated, it means that uh, you're going to absorb more of like a uh, lotion, more of anything you put on your skin. Because you can imagine your skin is just like like begging for something to come on at thirst. And then you put that color on your forehead. <laughs> and what do you think it did? It absorbed and it stained. Now, the way that you get that out is you hydrate that skin. I know that sounds weird, right? Like your skin is stained. What you need to do, if you've already tried the Dawn dishwashing soap after the fact, you need to hydrate your skin. Now, you do not want to put an oil on your skin because an oil is such a large molecule that is not going to absorb into the skin, right? So what you want to do is you want to get a serum. Do you have a serum? When I say serum, I mean something like this. Okay, so I just grabbed one that I have right here. This is by Studio Makeup. It's a hyaluronic acid serum. When I say serum, it has to say serum because a serum has, and this looks really cool, uh, a serum has a smaller molecule, so it actually penetrates your skin more. You know what? I'm going to put my brush down since I was doing my eye makeup, and I want to just see what this is like real quick. This is really cool. I love how they have the clear. Oh, do you see that? It's like a, woo! yep, that is a serum. <laughs> If you put a cream on, it's not going to absorb as much. If you put an oil on, it's not going to absorb as much. Look at this. It's like slimy, kind of. But a lot of times, hyaluronic acid is slimy. If you have a hyaluronic acid serum, please use that. Because that will super duper, like ridiculously, uh, penetrate the skin and plump your skin. You will leave that serum on like this. You're going to rub it into those areas, right? where you have all that dye, leave it on for a good minute. We're going to leave it on for a good minute. And then I'm going to show you in one second, next step. Okay, so next step. Mind you, I'm grabbing products I haven't even reviewed. Even though this hyaluronic acid by makeup by Studio Makeup, <laughs> it actually feels really good on the face. Uh, that is going to be something I will wear very often. This is Pharmacy. It's a daily green oil-free moisturizer. Did you, like, that's what the big thing is, oil-free. You're like, why oil-free? I want to try to get this off my scalp. The thing is, oil-free will absorb into that. I don't want anything that has oil in it whether it's a moisturizer, has a larger molecule. You need to think serum, moisturizer, then oil. So this is by Pharmacy. It's a daily green oil-free gel moisturizer with moringa and papaya. Ooh, I like the packaging. Check this out. It looks like it's a dessert or something for me. I mean, look at it. I mean, I think it's really cute. You might not think it's cute, but I think it's cute. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take this. And we're going to try to open it. There we go. Mmm. It it's very spicy smelling. Anyways, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to... And you know what? Regardless uh, if you have it stained or not, these are the steps that you should be doing every single day, every single night to your skin anyways. Um, you should do a serum, a moisturizer, then an oil, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to get this oil-free moisturizer and we're going to work it. And work it. And you see what I'm doing? I'm like going in these circular motions. And I'm working it. Do not scratch your skin. <laughs> Let's put that in big wording. Do not scratch your skin. <laughs> the reason I say that. I mean, you don't want to get an infection, right? Right? You don't want to. You don't want that, that color to penetrate any deeper than it is. We're just going to rub it and work it, work it into the skin in circular motions. Going to get a good amount and work it into the skin. And I'm going to take the rest and put it in my face. Okay. I swear it's very spicy. I never smelled a moisturizer quite like this. It smells like, I don't know, like a spicy rum or something. I know that's 
sounds weird for me to say, but it's just that, that strong, strong spice that you get in like a spice cake or something. Give that another minute, right? We worked it in. It's still on the skin. You can see it's slippery. Nice moisturizer, we'll say. Has a very strong smell, but it feels good on the skin. Let's finish this eye up. Give that a minute to set in. Oh, you guys want to get in the... See? These two, they're always in every video I make. They come up right behind me. It's like as soon as I start recording... Look, guys, this way. Sure. I know, I know. I know, I know. All right, get down. Go, go. Go, go. Move it. <laughs> See, they will literally sit right behind me. <laughs> Okay, while that is drying on the face, you will go get an oil. Uh, if you don't have like a beauty oil, like a face beauty oil, go to the kitchen and get your coconut oil. If you don't have a coconut oil, go to the kitchen and get your olive oil. Those are the two uh, oils that you can actually put on the skin. Uh, obviously, I have a face uh, oil, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I grabbed another one. <laughs> you see me digging down there. This is by Volition. It's called Hibiscus Unspotted Correcting Oil. What's that, actually? Reduces the appearance of dark spots and discoloration. Hydrates and helps improve moisture retention. Smooths the appearance of stressed skin. Minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Regardless, it's an oil. Really nice packaging. Yep, that's glass. So you're going to take some of this oil and this is what you're is what you're going to be very generous with well actually you're generous with all of them but this one you saw how much oil i got you see it on my fingers and you're going to work it oh it's a lovely smell it's kind of it's kind of stronger kind of more stronger but it the hibiscus and the oil is exactly what it smells like Okay, so you see what I'm doing? I'm not scratching, I'm just working. Every time I start recording it's something. Anyways, okay, so you see, I'm working it in, in those areas and work and work and work, right? On the skin, I'm gonna take the rest. Now, just a tip. If you're wearing a oil to hydrate your skin, especially that it's cold outside um, and you want to retain that moisture and you don't want, you want to fight those wrinkles, just put a light amount on your face, but at nighttime when you go to sleep, put a, a ton. Look like a greasy person when you go to bed. Okay, so if you are doing this trick when it is nighttime, please sleep with a lot. I mean, put a lot. Put layer and then layer and then a lot of layer. And you're going to work everything into where it's so extremely. Look, you see how I'm just gliding right here? You're going to work it into where it's just gliding off your skin. Then you're going to wake up in the morning, massage it in, and then wipe it off or wash it off with the Dawn dishwashing soap. What we're doing is we're penetrating the skin, hydrate it, hydrate it, hydrate it to the maximum that it can be hydrated, and then wash it off with the Dawn dishwashing soap. If you uh, are not going to sleep and you have an event to go to, unfortunately, you will need to have this on your face for at least a few hours. Um, and then do that step and do with the Dawn dishwashing soap. If that didn't work, your last, very, very, very last option would be to use baking soda. You're going to take a little baking soda, make it into a little paste with a tiny bit of water, and you're going to massage it into the skin. By doing that, you are... I'm going to have a brain freeze. <laughs> You are exfoliating your skin, right? Exfoliating it off. Those would be the last options. And if that didn't work, you will have to do this trick at night. Go go to your event, wear a hat. <laughs> but you'll have to do this trick at night and then take it off the following day. But that is how you get all of that off of your skin. I'm going to finish up my makeup. Be right back.
Okay, makeup's done. Did the brows. That's what I did the brows with and this lipstick. I'll post everything in the comment section that I used in this video. I really, truly hope that these tips help you get that stain off your skin. And if worse comes to worse, let's just say worse comes to worse, and you were like, I colored my hair. I got to be out the door in like an hour or two. Get some foundation. Regardless if you're a man or a woman, get a full coverage foundation and put it over that puppy. <laughs> Put it over that that uh, hair that line, and then blend. I don't know, blend it as much as possible, or don't blend it actually as much as possible because you want the foundation to cover the dark uh, dye on your hair. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope this these tips work for you. I love you guys. Mwah! Thank you for watching my video. I love you. God loves you. Let's go ahead and just roll on over to the quote of the day. Remember. Enjoy yourself. This is going to be a new year for you. We're going to have a great time. We're going to embrace the moment. Please, that's the best advice I could give you is to live in the moment. Because I find myself, uh, at least before, like looking back in my mind, looking at the past and enjoying those moments more than actually being present in the, mo in the moment. And when you're present in the moment, it just makes life more enjoyable. Let's go ahead and just roll on over to the quote of the day. I love you guys. Mwah. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.